If you shake my tree little heart, a story might drop. So y'all draw near and listen up. Chunkanoo Rush. Christmas time was coming, and that meant it was soon time for Junkanoo. Boboki and Barabi just loved to watch Junkanoo, and they always dreamed of participating in the parade. One night, Boboki and Barabi were at Junkanoo practice in the Scotiabank parking lot, jumping up and down and having a good old time. When Barabi decided, that he was finally going to join the Junkanoo group and rush in the upcoming parade. Boboki told him that it was not a good idea because he knew that Barabi knew nothing about rushing and that he was not smart enough to learn what he needed to do. Barabi, of course, did not listen and decided that he wanted to ring cowbells. Boboki said, I'll help you then but you need to get lots of practice because ringing cowbells is not easy to do. So the next day, Barabi decided that he would learn how to ring cowbells. So Barabi marched down to the farmer Johnson's farm, jumped on top of the cow, and tried to ring the cowbell that was around the cow's neck. The cow, of course, did not like that at all. The cow then threw Barabi to the ground and walked right over him. Barabi lay there on the muddy ground all dirty and in pain and said, Ringing cowbells is much harder than it looks. The next day, Barabi decided that he didn't want to ring cowbells anymore. Barabi went to the next practice and told the group members that he wanted to beat the drums instead. The group agreed and told Barabi to come to practice sessions twice a week so that he could learn about Junkanoo. Barabi, of course, did not listen and started telling them that he knew how to be drums and Pace's costume, although he had no idea how to do any of these things. Two weeks passed and Barabi didn't go to one single practice. He, however, started pasting his costume. But boy, oh boy, let me tell you what he did. But Robbie didn't want to spend any money on glue for pasting. He said he could use anything that was sticky. So but Robbie decided to use some old syrup that was in the cupboard at home. But Robbie pasted the entire costume using the syrup and felt good because he didn't have to spend any money. Junkanoo morning finally came and the entire group met at the Scotia Bank parking lot. Everyone was in a frenzy as preparation for the rush had already began. The leader of the group needed help and told Barabi to heat the drums as he and the other members went to get their costumes. Barabi said no problem, although he didn't understand what heat the drums meant because he never went to any of the practice sessions. Barabi then walked over to the fire and started throwing the drums directly into the fire. The fire got bigger and bigger and Barabi was proud that he was heating all of the drums, or so he thought. The leader of the group saw the huge fire and came running over to see what had happened. Barabi stood proud and told him that he had thrown all of the drums into the fire and they were definitely heated. The group leader started screaming at Barabi as he couldn't believe Barabi had destroyed all of the drums. The group members were angry as well as they stared at Barabi ready to attack him. The good thing was that the group had extra drums so they went to their storage truck and got them before the parade started. Barabi, who was now real tired, went to the corner of the Scotiabank parking lot and decided to take a nap. If he had gone to the practice, he would have known better than to go partying the night before the parade. But Barabi, the night before, went to his neighbor's Christmas party and danced all over the yard all night long 
as they clapped and cheered him on. Barabi slept so hard that he didn't even notice when rats had started eating his costume. He had to remember that Barabi didn't paste his costume with glue, but decided to use syrup. What seemed like a hundred rats jumped all over the costume and ate it piece by piece as Barabi slept and slept and slept. The group marshal then started ringing the bell, telling all of the members to get on the line because the parade was about to start. Barabi then woke up and started crying when he realized that his costume was completely destroyed by the rats. To make matters worse, the marshal gave him one of the burn-up drums that he had destroyed. As Barabi stood there with the worst costume and the worst drum in the parade, he realized that everyone was looking at him and laughing. He knew that he was not going to enjoy Junkanoo this year. Like the old people they say, you gotta practice every day to keep failure away. If you shake my tree little heart, another story might fall. But you might find out that it ain't true at all. <laughs>